Hello friends, my name is Ruslan and in this video uh, we will be discussing a pure sign wave in order. Um, uh, this uh, design which you can see on the screen is basically for a pure sign wave in order. And it's weight from on 12 volt as well as 24 volt and also on 48 volt DC. So uh, the rating of this inverter is up to 5000 watts and which is roughly from 5 kilowatt so before going into detailed description of the of this design let me tell you that um, what are the advantages of a pure sine wave inverter over a simple inverter so advantages of pure sine wave inverter over a modified sine wave inverter is that the output voltage is wave from a pure sine wave inverter with very low harmonics and a clean power like utility supplied so inductive loads like harm, microwave ovens or motors run faster and quite and, and they remain cool so how does a pure sine wave inverter actually works is basically a inverter is an electronic device they, I, that converts your dc to alternating AC. So it's just um, in this design we will be converting the DC into AC. A sine wave is a continuous wave that describes a smooth uh, repetitive oscillations and pure sine wave inverters can power just about any AC appliances without any risk of damage. So now let's uh, just discuss it. That why someone prefers a sine wave inverter over a simple uh, modified sine wave inverter. So generally, pure sine wave inverters are less expensive than a pure sine wave inverter. So they are still used in simple systems. But as technology advances, the pure cost of pure sine wave inverters comes down and making much more affordable and famous. And they have a very less down uh, about three to four percent of harmonics. So the, on my screen you can see a Arduino controller we have implemented with Arduino we have also implemented with big controller and also with STM324 with discovery board. So the results that we found are very good. So what happens over here is that the signal from the Arduino is basically goes directly into the four optocouplers which you can see on the screen let me show it with the cursor these are the four optocouplers first one second one and these two ones so these are the four disk optocouplers which will transmit your signal which is coming from the Arduino to the driver board so a driver is connected and that driver basically converts your plus 5 volt signal into a plus 12 volt or plus 12 volt signal for the MOSFETs to operate so as in our case over here we will be basically giving a 20 volt signal to operate those MOSFETs as they are connected in parallel so for that yes, there may be some kinds of voltage drop but that will be very little so we are just giving 20 volts for the safety so when the 20 volt signal is given to these MOSFETs the MOSFETs will turn on and turn off and uh, they are connected in parallel um, for the rating to um, get high rating and this one over here are the capacitors um, are those, are those are the DC capacitors this one is the PWM pulses this one is the control supply and on oscilloscope we can show the output so let's just run the simulation and discuss the results first ok so here I started the simulation and you can check on my scope the results this one is the yellow one signal which is directly coming from the utility company supply for example this one is a pure sine wave as you can see this one harmonics level is very low so this one this so this signal is a pure sine wave and uh, this um, red one is basically the signal we are getting at the output of the inverter so as you can see this one is smoothly span and this blue one is our output signal okay this blue one is the output signal 
which is the same signal just after filtering so over here you can see the results this one so this one a uh, blue one will be our output let's just turn it off and see I think they are the same they just there's a little difference phase difference as you can see so this phase difference is just yeah, uh, added between them because we were working on a um, grid tie inverter so what this will do it will just match the signal with that sine wave and when they becomes equal to each other then it will just connect that sync button between them and then the both signals will be synchronized with each other so it's just for that purpose so this whole one is basically a grid tie inverter so it's basically connect um, works on a grid tie inverter scheme so i just uh, right now i'm just showing you the part for pure sign with water so let's just turn it on also so that you can see those results as well so these both signals will move at the same time as they are just a same signal but with and without filtering it will just take some time it will, it will be when they will get matched and after get matching they will just sync each other let me show it to you Let's just turn it off so that it will, it may get a we get a faster results. Now it will move faster it's because of the calculation. The laptop that I am going to use that I am using right now is basically Core i3, so which is an old version. So if you are using some Core i5 or Core i7, the results will be pretty much fast. Okay, it will take some time but uh, now let me show you the uh, results of a 3d supply let's just turn it off and then move it to 3d so, okay this one is the basically the 3d view of this inverter so which is uh, rating and this one design i just um, this one is design is basically designed for 5 kilowatt but uh, we have tested this one to 1 kilowatt so I just write over there 1 kilowatt so um, this one is your pulses which will be coming from the Arduino so all you have to do is just to connect 3 pulses which is coming from the controller over there this, these 3 ports will be for plus 5 volts ground and the um, MOSFETs volts like it will be 20 or 20, 24 volts you can provide 24 volts at this point you have to ground this pin and then you have to provide the plus 5 volts at that point this one for uh, the high side this one will be ground and this one will be the further low side so there will be three um, pins coming from the controller and three from the supply and then you have to there are um, there will be two options at the bottom of this you have to connect the battery directly at this point and you have to take the output at um, the bottom of this like at this point you have to take the output from this point so this complete one is just a tested circuit on hardware as well so i'll drop the link or the files in the description if you want the files for this project you can send a mail at my mail id which is ali ali double five six three at the rate of gmail.com let me write it over here for you so here is my mail id which is ali ali double five six three at the for the of gmail.com so you can just send a mail and i'll send you the files and the video description of how to use those files thank you guys for watching if you like the video please click that like and subscribe button and you can also click on that notification button if you want to know that when my next uh, the next video is coming okay guys thank you take care bye